staffers uh, reached out um, through publicly available information to CPS teachers and our city colleges, and that was just simply a mistake. I'm the mayor of the city. I'm not an, uh, somebody aspiring to be the mayor. And the wall between the campaign and the official side has to be impenetrable. Well, she has some explaining to do now. That is Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot admitting that her re-election campaign made a mistake. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> when emailing public school teachers asking for them to recruit students to work on her campaign for class credit. I don't think you can do that. The Chicago Public Schools Inspector General now investigating. Now, this email was reportedly sent to an unknown number of teachers last Tuesday. Lightfoot maintains there were no city resources spent on the initiative, but the American Civil Liberties Union of Illinois says emails may have actually violated federal law. For a bit more on this, let's bring in Chrissy Clark. A fantastic reporter for The Daily Caller and also a Newsmax contributor. Chrissy, great to have you with us. Hey, it's good to see you. What a story. I mean, Lightfoot makes headlines anyway, uh, but this one seems particularly egregious. Uh, we just want to lay in a few more facts for the viewers. ABC Chicago says the email was sent by Lightfoot's deputy campaign manager, hmm, asking teachers, please share this opportunity about an externship program. Uh, hard to hear her try to distance herself when it was a deputy campaign manager. Are you buying that, Chrissy? Oh, absolutely not. And if it was a deputy campaign manager, I believe it was Megan Crane is the deputy campaign manager that sent the email. This would have absolutely had to have gone through multiple people. It doesn't necessarily mean that it went through Lori Lightfoot. But I think that if you had this conversation just in a meeting that's pretty egregious in the first place, nonetheless actually sending out an email using public resources, which is a violation of ethics laws. And you know, for the viewers out there that don't understand how corrupt Chicago public schools are, uh, Lori Lightfoot is tasked with picking the superintendent of the Chicago public schools, mm. as well as all the members of the board of education of the district. So if this was a decision that was made, you know, this is clearly politics being politics and it is <laughs> uber corrupt. Yeah, because they'd want to, you know, keep their jobs. They have to, you know, satisfy her. We just have about 30 seconds, unfortunately, right. today. But, you know, you're a parent. You hear about this. What's your recourse? You can't necessarily pull your kid out. I think that's the sad thing that gets lost here is the kids really are being used as pawns in this political machine of Ms. Lightfoot. Real, yeah, I'm really quick. I will say I went to a Chicago public school or a, a subsidiary, you know, out in the suburbs. Um, it, you know, we had this program and it was offered for both sides of the aisle, um, not just for Democrats. And I think that's where it becomes a problem is when it's the establishment and the Democrats getting extra credit. Uh, or students getting extra credit for Democrats and not for Republicans, that's when it's problematic, not encouraging kids to get involved in politics. Yeah, another way to do it, maybe not in a campaign or just learn about civics or duties, right. things like that. Chrissy Clark, uh, got to leave it there, but great to see you. We'll see you Thank next you. week as well. Thank Thanks, you. Chrissy.